had a, a, a very, very famous, you know, woman, a lot of people probably recognize, but don't recognize, um, sister Tyler here is the creator of the granny too thick, um, Instagram. I think you're on TikTok, correct? Uh, yes. Instagram and, and and TikTok, TikTok pages. I know a lot of y'all have saw her go viral, you know, world star hip hop and many other places. Y'all like, who's that old lady out there doing all that? Well, this sister is <laughs> the creator you say of that page. So Tyler, thank you for joining us today. Thank you for having me. Thank you. All right. So, so Tyler, let, let's, let's get, let's get into it. So what made you create that granny too thick character? Like, cause most people not really looking at, you know, uh, a, a lady at, for at least at that age to be doing that. So, so how, what got that inspired? Um, so granny too thick is a character I kind of just created to, um, just to make fun of how I was really feeling because I was diagnosed with lupus and it's when your immune system attacks like all of your healthy tissues and joints. So um, like it can affect different parts of your body, like your kidneys, your lungs, your liver, your heart, your muscles, your joints. Um, I am one of those ones where it affects my muscles and my joints. So it would be times where I couldn't get out of bed. I couldn't walk up and down my stairs. And I just literally started making fun of it by saying like, look, I have on a granny filter because I feel like I'm old as hell. It was something that was going on between me and my brothers at first through Snapchat. And then I started doing more videos on Snapchat, Snapchat and posting it publicly. And then I finally went from Snapchat to TikTok. And once it got on TikTok, it kind of just blew up. So. Yeah. Okay. So, so you, you mentioned, you know, lupus and you know, my, my wife has that actually. Um, mm -hmm. so I definitely know what you're talking about in, in, in relation to that and in the joint pain and, you know, you mm -hmm. have your good days, you can have flare ups, you know, I know, you know, everything, you know, about that. Um, but you say you felt you like old, you know, just physically what you're dealing with, just trying to get out of bed a lot. And it just, it just really uh, started getting you more that way. Yeah, it um, it just I went from having Megan knees to not having any knees at all. Like, and I was only twenty nine. You know what I'm saying? So, it was just mentally me trying to find a way to to process it. You know what I'm saying? But a, a way to laugh at it. I didn't expect it to blow up the way that it did, though. Okay, so now now when it did blow up, what started changing for you? Um. Nothing pretty much changed because I'm going to be honest, I've been so sick. I like, I'm still dealing with like my lupus right now. Like when everything was blowing up, I was watching everything blow up from my bed. Like, um, I've been in an active flare since January 22nd. Um, I started seeing my rheumatologist in March and I've been, I'm on this new medication that they're trying to see if it can put me into remission, but I can't travel. I can't do that much right now because I'm sick. Like it's like some days are good. Some days are bad. I mean, I just opened, um, another store in Las Vegas yesterday, like, um, at the Boulevard mall, I opened up a small space for my business 9th of June. I sell like healing stones, sage and crystals and stuff. Um, but it hasn't really done much. I mean, like it definitely brought like some money in through like only fans and I've gotten a lot of attention and made, you know, a couple of like relationships, but it really hasn't done much because I'm still here. I'm kind of stuck because of my illness, honestly. 